In this tutorial, we're going to create the asset browser version of the HDRI Maker libraries. Make sure you are in a new, unsaved Blender project. Now let's go to the add-on preferences. Important note, make sure you have the add-on updated to version 4.0.110 or higher, otherwise it will not be possible to create the asset browser version of the libraries. We select the Libraries tab. If the libraries are connected correctly, the corresponding buttons will be shown to convert them into the asset browser version. Let's try to create the asset browser version of the HDRI Maker default library. During this process the entire asset browser library will be created or updated. The speed of the process depends a lot on the speed of the hard disk. If you are using an SSD, the process will be much faster. Once done, let's check out the asset browser. In the asset list, we now have a new asset, named HDRI Maker. If not, try pressing the refresh button or restart Blender. Now, we have all HDRI Maker default library in asset browser format. The asset is divided into size formats, and then all the categories, just like they were organized in HDRI Maker. Now let's try to create the HDR Maps expansion library asset, as well. I advise not to keep the asset browser open during the creation process, this could slow it down. We do the same as before with the HDR Maps expansion. Please note, the HDR Maps expansion must be installed in order to convert it. Let's check if it was created correctly. We do a refresh if it is not shown, or you can restart Blender. The HDR Maps expansion library is now also present in the asset browser. Now with a drag and drop you can add HDR I Maker backgrounds directly from the asset browser to the scene. It is recommended to restart Blender. To make the asterisk disappear from the names of the HDRI Maker libraries, it will be sufficient to save any project, it is not necessary to do it immediately. 